Hello and welcome back to English Uplift. Uh, uplifted cup of tea time, everyone. So this is autumn, as you may see that it is getting colder, and we do need a cup of tea, warm one, from now and again. Last time I remember, I was talking to you about the meaning of the word tea in England, actually, and today I would like to uh, extend um, the meaning of the word tea as in dinner as a meal, as food. So sometimes English people call tea as their dinner. For example, they say, they might ask you, um, what are you having for tea today? That means, what are you going to have for dinner today? And the answer should be, um, today I'm gonna have some rice and chicken, something like that. Um, but sometimes it is even more confusing when the English people might say, um, what time are you having your tea? Or they use the word dinner as lunch. Lunch time, especially at school. I remember uh, my neighbor told me the story that she took her son from school back early on that day at lunchtime about 12 o'clock. So she asked her son, did you have dinner at school? And he said, no. So he, she started cooking some lunch for him only later on to find out that he actually had lunch at school. But school, they don't use the word lunch, they use the word dinner as lunch. That's why the boy was so confused, bless him. That's the reason why um, sometimes you've got to be careful. So tea can be dinner, dinner can be lunch, but lunch can be dinner. <gasps> At least there's something that we can know for sure. So lunchtime can be at you know, 11, 12, one o'clock. Dinner definitely going to be uh, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, something around that. So good luck everyone, have a cup of tea and next time we have some more fun topic to talk about. Bye for now, bye bye.